there, welcome back to my channel. We have started the year of 2022 rather rough with fear of global economic turbulence. Sudden war erupted between Ukraine and Russia. US federal government increasing its interest rate for the first time since 2020 with a 25 basis point, causing the equities market globally to go through a tremendous roller coaster. Just before we could heave a sigh of relief, Talks are rife with the US market, possibly heading into a recession or even worse, stagflation. So, what about Malaysia? Will Malaysia's economy also head into a stagflation in 2022? In my humble opinion, I don't think so. While US may have to brace for a possible stagflation this year 2022, Fortunately, Malaysia's economy is set for a gradual recovery with real GDP growth at 3.1% in 2021 and projected to accelerate to about 5.75% in 2022 thanks to the authorities' impressive vaccine growth and swift implementation of economic policy support measures. Yeah! First, what is stagflation? In layman term, it means while general prices of goods and services increases over a period of time, but on the contrary, the country's economy is slowing down and often coupled with growing or high unemployment rate. Stagflation could be viewed as the worst of the other two evils, which is recession and inflation. Briefly explained, CPI refers to the Consumer Price Index. It measures the cost of living for a typical person. Whereas, core CPI is the CPI on energy and food prices. It is expected that the momentum of core CPI inflation on a month-on-month, three-month moving averages basis do accelerate in second quarter of 2022 as economic activities pick up and generates higher inflation in services rated components such as restaurants, hotels, uh, health and miscellaneous goods and services which account for 15.6 of total core CPI. Globally, it is highly anticipated that brand oil prices could peak in the 100 to 130 USD per barrel range in 2022 with the balance of the risk tilted towards consolidation from current levels in the near term. Brand crude's price is the benchmark for African European and Middle East crude oil. It is also believed that the flow of oil and food type products from Ukraine and Russia, though more modest compared to historical levels, will continue and session on these products will be less effective compared to what the Western governments are anticipating. The government, in our view, though indicating recently in Parliament that Fuel subsidies could hit RM28 billion in 2022 versus 11 billion in 2021. It is unlikely to implement any substantive changes to its subsidy formula, which was announced in 2017 in 2022. We foresee limited risk for fuel and food subsidies, along with the formula to price RON95 and diesel prices at petrol pumps to be changed significantly in 2022, in my opinion. This is crucial to contain core inflationary pressures. Okay, looking from the chart here, which shows our Malaysia supply chain congestion indicators and survey done with relevant companies, it is concluded that the supply chain congestions will continue to drive durable goods inflation up as some imported inputs which go into the productions of these products will face delay in arrival at factory gates in Malaysia over the next few months. As our economy continues to reopen to foreign investors with effect of 1st of April this year, and economic activities improved in the second quarter of 2022, the services component of headline inflation will also accelerate. Durable goods and services CPI account for 56.2% of headline inflation. So, in conclusion, fellow Malaysians do brace up to embrace a growing inflation in the coming months and the high likelihood that our Bank Negara Malaysia will hike the overnight policy rate 
OPR by 25 basis point in the second half of 2022, with the guidance being given at the May 11 Monetary Policy Committee meeting. The effect of inflation is to decrease the value of our money. When inflation rises, you and I are able to buy less with our money. Inflation will always be a silent thief eating away the value of our long-term investment. But with some wise planning, you and I will be able to stay a step ahead of it. This is my sharing for this episode. If you have found value in this video, would appreciate to get a thumbs up from you. And remember to subscribe if you have not done so. And I shall see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.